A lot of people don't realize what you have until it's gone. The things you've taken for granted, others are praying for. My name is Jose Garibo, and this is my story. As a kid, you don't really think much, you just do. Having both parents, living worry-free, I was living the life until it really hits you. Some eye-opening experience, and it really changes your life. I remember coming home from school around the fifth grade. The usual, you know, you go outside, you're playing with your friends, you don't want to do your homework. So when I was playing with my friends one day, um, I remember it was just these Tahoes, you know, pulled up on the side of my, I lived in an apartment complex at the time. I believe I was in like the fifth grade. Um, and then at the Tahoes, it, was, it wasn't just no regular cop cars, it was just some Tahoes. You see some gentlemen, you know, come out. And I was reading the, I was reading, you know, the, the chest, bulletproof vests, and it said ice. And I was, you know, I was confused at the time. I'd never seen that, I'm, I'm a fifth grader. As I see the gentlemen, they were, they were walking towards my, my apartment. And I was just like, what? You know, you're, you're perplexed, you don't know what to do. Um, they knocked, knocked on my door, that opens the door. Little do you know, my dad's in handcuffs on the wall, and you know me, I'm, I'm little. I don't know, I'm, I'm crying, my dad's in handcuffs. Um, little did I know they were gonna take him. They, I hear them tell my mom, we're gonna, they're gonna come for her tomorrow. And I, you know, you, it's in the blink of an eye, you know, one thing you're playing, having fun with your friends, next thing your dad's in handcuffs being arrested by ICE, you know, being detained and you don't even know why. So me, know, us knowing that they're coming from my mom tomorrow, we're panicking, you know? So we pack overnight and we talk to some family members and we get our stuff and we move to, to Phoenix with one of my cousins. Um, and you know, that really changes your, your mentality because at that age, I was just having fun, playing soccer, you know, playing club. And it really, it really limits your, your stuff because my dad was the, the sole provider for the house. My mom doesn't, didn't work. She has um, high blood pressure and stuff, so she really gets, she can't really do stuff, you know, without getting her, her blood up. And it really limits us to, from having a childhood, you know? You don't really get to have one. At, in fifth grade, you're not, you're not at an older age, you know? You have, now you have to, you're limited on stuff. You can't really eat much, you know? It's, it's, really, it's really a grind, you know? You know, fast forward a few years, I think a year or so, my dad, us being little, um, I'm the youngest for anyone that didn't know. Um, my dad crossed back, you know, he's, he's our sole provider. He, he taught us, you know, at a young age, you gotta, you gotta work. If not anything's given to you. So now, having my dad back, you know, you feel, you, you get that happiness for a second, but then you gotta realize, now that I'm older, you, you're living scared, you know? Like, any little thing, my dad goes to the supermarket, I'm worried if he's gonna get pulled over or something, you know? Now you know your dad's, or, and your mom, and your dad, they're both undocumented, you know? So, you, li you live with fear your whole life, that's what sucks. Um, your dad goes to the store, you gotta, gotta call him, see if he's good, if they're gonna cut their on their way back. They go to the casino late night or something, you know? You're up all night, you can't sleep, waiting till they get home when you know they're home safe. Um, it really changes your mentality. Um, and that's when it, when it happened again. I remember I was still in high school and my dad, I think I was a senior, my dad got deported again, this time on a DUI. Um, and it sucks, cause you know, you do as much as you can. I'm over here, you know, asking if he, need, if he needs to go somewhere, I'll drive him. Don't want him to drive but as much as I could. Um, his only drive he had was, was to work. And, and that's where, unfortunately, he was drinking and driving and it got pulled over and, and got taken away, you know? Um, it, it, the only bad thing, you know, it's you can't sh share sheer moments, you know? Like, hey, Dad, I graduated, you know? Like, and I still remember that phone call, you know? He called me, he's like, um, I got in a car accident. How do, I think I'm a go. You know, you get that phone call, man, you just, it's, it's heartbreak, you know? I'm just maybe probably getting off of school, and I get a call, and my dad's got in a little rear end accident, you know? police are gonna come on the scene and knowing damn well he doesn't have papers you know like you just and he's been drinking and just really you you know what's gonna happen and it's like I've been in this you know I've been in this before but luckily our our dad raised us to not depend on on him you know although he, we want him to be there he, he taught us not to depend on him always have a job always have income so you don't get 
you know, like you don't know what to do on scenarios like this, you know, and you're not homeless and you know stuff like that. And then to just top things off, my mom gets deported a year later after my dad just got arrested, and my dad got sentenced to around three to four years off of the DUI because it was the second. I guess he's had one before, and this, this, all this hitting you at once. Luckily, at the age of 18, it's 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 life. It's eye-opening. It's life-changing, and it's definitely something that changed me as a person and I you know I wish sometimes you know you see those parents you know you see people Thanksgiving Christmas stuff like that it, it changes it really impacts your life you're like damn like that's when it really like I wish I had my, my family here and we could have a Christmas and stuff like that you know but it also motivates me to to keep going and be like you know mom dad I did it you know I made it you guys you guys crossed the border and did all this so I can have this, you know. I'm sure you know your parents struggle and suffer for, for their kids to have a better future than they did, you know. And that's how what I'm, I'm putting into my perspective too. Where my kids, I want them to have something better. Luckily I have papers and they won't have to worry about me getting deported. Luckily, in these coming days, my dad's finally got released and he's in Mexico. And I'm gonna get to go visit him. And this should be a good, a good, you know, change in my life, you know, a little smile on my face and I can finally go see him every now and then. Four years passed by like nothing but, you know, you also wish he was there for you on all those days. But a lot of people, you need to take deportation serious, you know. Looking scared isn't, it's, it's, it sucks. It really does suck, you know. I can't, you can't do nothing, you know. You're, you're kind of limited. You don't have a childhood yet to work. You can't, can't really go to college or something because who's going to pay your bills? Um, a lot of stuff is limited, but it, it grows you up as a person. But luckily, and in future reference, I know that my kids are definitely going to have way more than what I did. But it's not even like in bad, bad intentions. I know my parents didn't choose to be undocumented, you know. So finally, you know, I get to go see my dad. So hopefully this is just the beginning of a, a bright future. Yo, what is up my people? It is a special day today. It is November 26, 2019. I'm currently, I believe halfway so to Mexico to go see my dad for the first time. It's been like three, three years, I believe so. And my mom, which has been almost a year already that I went to go see her. So I'm gonna go see my dad and my mom. And luckily everything goes to plan and goes well. I'm currently in Ajo, which is Ajo in English technically AJO so Ajo AZ um you guys can look around you know great little environment so yeah so yeah I'm currently I'm currently at Shell at oh my hair is a mess I just realized that it's okay because that's not even the point of the video so um I'll continue guys probably once I'm at the border I'll check in um, but yeah, continue on my journey to see my dad for the first time in three years. Deuces. All right, guys. So I made it to the border. If you know the vibes, you know what this is. If you come to Mexico, oh, if you've been here. Um, over there is the actual border. And yeah, that's the border over there. That's where you check. But my car's so low, I think I'm scraping. I'm it's my biggest fear right now. But other than that, let's hope this goes well. I know my car's gonna scrape though. I'm just, oh. But once I get past that, I should be good. So, oh, just a little recap just to let you know I'm not going to the border. So I'll get back to you guys in a couple seconds. All right, guys, I got a little too excited, so I didn't get to capture the actual moment of me seeing that. This is my dad right here. No, let's see, let's see. Saluda la cámara, tú. No, hombre, no dije, dije mi pa, no, tío. No, but that's both of them, so. Glad to have them both back right here. No, hombre, mira, ven, abrazo, me abrazo. But I'm gonna go spoil them and stuff, and I really want to have my camera in public in Mexico, so I'm gonna let you guys go. All right, so I'm back in my car, so I went to go get them some food. Ahora, ¿qué quieres? 
Is that what I said? Mm -hmm. Sheesh. If y'all been to Rocky Point, I went to Combo Taco, Smack Tacos, definitely try it out. So, ¿cómo te sientes ahora que estás? Bien. ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. Yeah, bro, so, he's, he's a little hyped. He's not the most emotionally expressive person. But, just spoiling them, you know, a little recap, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Man, I crashed out. Um, gonna take him out one more time to eat. They're at my car right there. I'm gonna take him out one more time to eat, and then it's final goodbyes. Not the last goodbye, you know, I come every now and then. And I got free time, and I'm off work, because I gotta go back to work today, actually, so. Look at you guys at the last vlog right now from Mexico. In a bit, so I'm about to go grow, because I'm hungry, so. All right, guys, well, I just got back. Just close this door, because I don't want to hear background noises. Um, I did do a vlog of me seeing my parents or leaving because you got to live in the moment you know i'm not going to be whipping out the camera just trying to record everything because you know stuff like that's just stuff you got to embrace and enjoy in the moment and the point of this video i hope if you're making it even to this point um it's just to show that th things are real bro things happen um you don't know what to expect bro like life's crazy um and i appreciate what you have um a lot of this shit, it's affected me a lot in life i i just try not to show the downsides a lot of people ask, like, why, uh, if you see I played soccer at PC, you know, like, a lot of people ask why um, you stopped, why did you do that, you know, you had a your college paid for it. Bro, um, you got to think of the fact that I live by myself with my sister. I have bills to pay, I have insurance, I have a phone, I have an apartment rent, you got to um, buy a car, you got to buy groceries, you got to, there's a lot of stuff you got to maintain, bro, and who's going to who's gonna buy that for me, you know, other than me. I got to work for my stuff. So I had to unfortunately let all that go. Um, yes, my school was paid for, but and I didn't have time to work. So if you have your parents, bro, though, you got them to pay for your phone bill and stuff. You get to go to school and appreciate every moment of that and make the most of it. A lot of people don't, man. Um, a lot of people don't even get to go to school. A lot of people don't even get, you know, it's stuff like that. But you got to keep into perspective. That got to keep your mind open and make you grateful for things. Like me. That's my motive. A lot of people be like, I don't want sympathy. That's the one thing I hate. I don't like sympathy. I'm like, oh, it feels bad. Here's this. No, I don't want nothing given to me. It doesn't make me different than you. Um, it may be giving me minor setbacks, but that's more more as motivation for me to succeed, just like other people that have their parents. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I this is just something like, an eye opener. You know, people go through this. Immigration is terrible. People live in fear. That's it's a true thing. Sorry, it's hot in here. Um, people live in fear. It's a true thing. Um, I remember all the time waiting for my parents to get home because I didn't want them to get deported. But you know, it's it's tough. It's a matter of thing. You can only do so much. Um, my parents did what they did. They raised me to enough for me to do what I got to do. Now I got to embrace every moment. I send them money. Um, I spoiled them today. They didn't spend a dollar. I even gave them money. I paid for everything they bought. I paid for food. We want to go eat. Every little thing, man. It's just. It's just I see it as I appreciate you. You got me through the years I couldn't do anything, but now I'm at an age where I can do something. So make the most of your time here on earth. Appreciate your parents. Spend every moment with them like it's your last. And don't get mad at them just because they don't let you out late or nothing, man. It's it's a blessing to even have them. A lot of people don't have them due to immigration, due to them passing, like anything. So appreciate what you have in life. Grebovitz for the win. Um, use everything as motivation, man. Don't Don't fail in life. Don't put up excuses. This is...